How's everybody doing today? Yeah, I, uh, I've had quite the interesting week. You know, this team Ola and, uh, these guys are just having the biggest laugh and fun with those people. I'll tell you, they just get around me and just ramble on about nonsense like you do not believe. I mean, I was even sitting there the other morning at the bus stop. I'm gonna catch one and go out to the Walmart and uh, this gal walks up and she uh, apologizes for telling me her business, but she flips her feet up on my picnic table in front of me and starts telling me about her problems with her shoes, how they just fell apart. And uh, I'm telling you, those guys are just laughing so hard in the background. And I'm doing everything I can to keep a straight face and just, okay, whatever, yeah, okay, I... I Sorry about you and your shoes. I, you know, I, I didn't even say anything. I just, <laughs> I just can't believe any of these guys are doing this. And uh, she ends up taking them shit off. And, and somewhere along the line, I, I think she she thought I was the return department because she took them off and said, you guys can have them back. And she left them. But then she uh, took off her socks and she says, no, these are mine. I'm going to keep these. And... Uh, she walked over to the trash can barefooted. <laughs> and then on her way back, she realized, I guess I wasn't the return department. She apologized for it and uh, took her shoes and her socks and just walked off barefoot and rambling on. Yeah, yeah, it's been an awesome time. The uh, Team Ala is really out there some days. And, uh, yeah, the place I'm staying at, yeah. We, you know, I didn't get to get out and walk around yesterday. You know, no endurance training yesterday. It was all heavy weights. Yeah, yeah, we had to cut up pews and throw them away and put new ones in. These damn things are like five, 700 pounds. Cut them in half and tore them up. Yeah, so no endurance training. Heavy weights yesterday. But, uh didn't do much walking which was kind of good for my feet i'm ready to take a break off of them but back at it again today and uh you know it's i just love that place i stay at i mean you're talking deep into the enemy lines of stupid everywhere you turn <clears throat> it's an interesting thing really wished I could help more but he only lets me talk to a few and it's really not help it's just quit being stupid comments which doesn't really help my cause any because uh, to be perfectly honest with you I'd like to be able to help a lot more but uh, no I get to come across this uh, just shut up and quit being stupid just shut up and quit being stupid you know it's kind of what he's been doing with you guys and me in this talk you know, he could have made me walk and be a lot more godlike and kind and peaceful, but uh, wasn't in the cards. Because, uh, you know, you guys might want to follow me. And because, uh, you know, it's not about me, it's about our Father and His message. You know, you guys really got to get that part into your head. You know, even when Jesus was here, it wasn't about following him. It was about understanding the meaning of life. And that the kingdom of God is a real thing. <clears throat> and if you want in, don't be a dumbass. Uh, they didn't really put it in those words, but we can today because it's so much simpler. It, it is uh, one of the things the language has developed to the point where um, dumb has really has meaning uh, it's not in the bible but uh the point's there it's it's really about not being stupid and uh you know it, it's been that way for thousands of years like i said even the egyptians they didn't like dumbasses either uh, they killed them yeah it was yeah he spoke against god it was it was a bad thing yeah and uh it's always been that way, kind of. 
it's uh, really not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be helping them to figure it out. Don't kill them, but that's the way it was. Matter of fact, like I said, there was a lot of awful things that happened back in those days. People kill each other for no reason. I'm having a bad day, dude. You're going to die. And you did. So, you know, you could be an awesome person all your life, and you do that one stupid thing. Yeah, you're, you're not going to get into Angel. And that's usually what happened. It, uh... It was tough to be a good person, but it's not that tough today. I mean, it's still not easy, but it's really not that hard compared to what it was back then. You know, you can't avoid trouble if you try, and uh, you can be kind, and you can turn the other cheek if you really want to. If you don't, well then, stupid your card. And it's your call. Free will still. But, uh, you know, really is kind of one of those uh, things that uh, if you're beginning to understand the meaning of life and uh, the logic that I bring you, everything makes more sense here. Everything that's been happening, even our history, makes a lot more sense. It's just been this way all along. It's been about boot camp. And nobody really thought of it as boot camp. Well, maybe a couple got that. But it uh, really wasn't a talked about subject like it is today. You know, there's a lot of people out there that wondered why God lets awful things happen. And the truth is, he's not letting them happen. He's doing his best to stop them we're the ones doing the stupid and we're in the middle of a simulator that's designed to beat the shit out of us so uh, yeah everything makes more sense now doesn't it really need you guys to understand that because uh, the future of humanity is in your hands right now it won't be for long we'll pass right by you but we really don't want to See, that's part of my mission here. See, if I do a good job, I'm going to get 100% of you to figure out the meaning of life. But uh, realistically speaking, and, and the more I get into this, there might be one or two of you that I don't save. But that doesn't mean I'm going to keep not going to keep trying. Like I said, remember what I'm doing. All right, I have given and sold and let everything in my life go because he wanted me to do this crazy train for you it's about you guys believing in that part of me that you know there's a reason nothing here really matters nothing here is of any consequence except your experiences it's the only thing you get to take with you it's the only thing I'm going to get to take with me so it's queen which is another one of those topics that he's just trying to keep in the background because uh, I, up until March, I, 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 I didn't really even have that turned on in me. I, I seriously thought I was just going to go by myself and was going to be by myself for the rest of my time on the spook camp because, to be honest with you, I was okay with that because uh, all my experiences in the past totally sucked. So... Wasn't really cool with uh, giving that one another try. But uh, we can't give up on that either. You know, having that partner, that friend, even if you're in your 50s, and keep searching and find that there's, uh, there's still that one that you finally figure it out together that... Uh, you know, you really are happier having a partner. Because it is like that on the top side. Like I said, we aren't married up there on the top side. There is no eternal marriage up there. But having an eternal partner, a friend, that is kind of important. 
And then not only that, but when you get to the top side, you'll find you'll have other friends, eternal friends. Because it's, you know, we're not worried about the, the sex part of it anymore. We're worried about the pleasure and the happiness. And we don't own anybody. And if you're doing a relationship where you think you own her or she owns you, yeah, that, you, you, you're missing the point. And you're totally not going to be very happy when you get to the top side. Because we're going to straighten you out. Because nobody owns anybody. We're all free spirits, souls, and uh, we have to remember that. And to be perfectly honest with you, if she's your partner or he's your partner, they're there because they freely want to be there, not because you own them. So understanding that and uh, getting yourself in the right frame of mind of the best way to have a partner is to be free with them and let them be free to you and let them choose that's that's the start and like I said when you get to the top side and we don't have that sex issue involved you'll find out that uh, you're actually one of those that could be very popular and she could do or he could do whatever like I said down here though it's about that partner and it's about doing it with honor and respecting that partner and never going outside that boundaries of that partner. See, remember, boot camp, it's testing you. But uh, top side, a whole lot more fun. This side, it's a brutal boot camp. Don't ever forget that part because it, it's, it's a simulator. It's always been a simulator of being tortured. And no matter how good your life is, there's other stuff that comes up that makes you get beat up. Whether it's family or friends or your village or your the weather. It, it just shit happens here. It's designed to beat us up. How we deal with it, that's the true test of our soul. And which choices we make. Like I said, it's... Uh, pretty common sense it's a logical approach to the world and uh, everything I've been teaching you all of God's movies I mean he has been in everything I mean really think about this you're in the matrix okay yeah there's a reason why they made that movie along with Avatar and uh, Star Trek and uh, the DC Comics. You know, because when you get to the top side and you have that magic, you really are a superhero up there. You really can fly. You really have super strengths. You have superpowers. But only if you earn them here. You can earn some up there, but trust me, it's a long haul to earn up there. Here it's quick, it's easy. All you got to do is be a good person. And uh, you'll be just fine. But uh, anyway, I guess I rambled on enough for this one. It's kind of hard to find a private place to talk anymore. Uh, Team Allah comes in from all sides these days. And uh, I just have to sit there and grin. And uh, <laughs> do my best. To maintain oh it's gonna be all right though it's gonna be all right one day i'll have a shields <laughs> he keeps telling me these dreams i ain't seen shit yet oh that's all right that's all right you know that's that's what i do that's my mission oh you should see that girl taking her shoes off <laughs> oh man <coughs> having to run into her on the bus this morning all the way out here. She just, oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm just doing my best to keep straight face. That's what I do. Yeah. Hang in there, guys. It's going to be all right. We're getting there. Slowly. But, uh, <laughs> obviously, not today. <laughs>